Which bank is the safest for your money? 14 security criteria to evaluate your bank. After the financial crisis in 2008, it was clear to everyone. Banks have incredibly little equity. Most banks have leveraged balance sheets. The good news is that Switzerland has the safest and most capitalized banks in the world. Every day investors call me from all over the world and ask me which Swiss bank is the safest to deposit money, how to tell if a bank is safe. For answering these questions you need security criteria. We at the boutique law firm Caputo Partners have done pioneering work. We are the only ones in the world to have collected 102 annual reports from 102 Swiss private banks. From the last annual reports we defined, filtered and listed 14 security criteria for assessing a bank's safety. Take our security criteria and make your own judgment of the bank's safety. After watching this video you will know exactly how to tell if a bank is safe or not safe. I will explain the 14 security criteria now in this video. Stay with me. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. My name is Enzo Caputo. I'm a Swiss banking lawyer. I advise successful international business people like you from all over the world on how to diversify and protect wealth. I was employed as a compliance officer and head of the legal department with the old UBS group. Then I became the CEO of the Swiss Association of Asset Manager. Today I run the boutique law firm Caputo & Partners and the domain SwissBankingLawyers.com. This is the place where successful international business people like you find tips and solutions to better protect assets with Swiss banks, make more money and pay less tax. How to reduce inflation? The phone rings non-stop because of rising inflation. People are afraid of losing their assets. They are worried about their financial future. Many in Europe fear capital export restrictions and confiscation. In Germany the inflation rate was 10% in December 2022. In Switzerland it is below 3%. If you change your money into Swiss francs and invest it with the safe Swiss private bank, you preserve the purchasing power of your money. Many US investors have opened a Swiss bank account to geographically diversify their assets. They have a multi-currency account. They hold non-US currencies and non-US securities. What I'm going to tell you now will shock you. Be prepared. The US dollar has lost 50% of its value against the Swiss francs in the past 20 years and around 75% of its value in the past 40 years. Switzerland is also a great jurisdiction to buy real physical gold or precious metals like gold, silver, platinum. We have defined, filtered and listed security criteria for all 102 private banks in Switzerland. All information comes directly from the 102 annual reports of the 102 banks. Believe me, it was not easy to get the annual reports. Certain banks guard their annual reports like state secrets. We were turned away. We did not give up. Which Swiss bank is best for foreigners? Only on our website SwissBankingLawyers.com you will find our bank directory listing all 102 Swiss private banks. Private banks are banks that offer private banking services including asset management to private persons. Each bank is presented on an independent subdomain including the 14 most important security criteria extracted from the last annual report. Based on our exclusive security criteria you can make your own judgment about the security of a particular bank. You can find the best Swiss private bank very easily with our security criteria. Unfortunately, foreign private clients usually only know UBS and Credit Suisse. Investors who are more concerned look for Swiss private banks by size. They believe that the large bank is automatically safer. This is a misconception. This is a mistake. We show you what really matters when it comes to finding a truly safe bank. I will give you the two most important security criteria right at the beginning. So the most important criteria are if you follow these very important two security criteria you have already done a lot right. Number one, 
Security criterion number one, select a pure asset management bank. Criterion number two, the bank should be a tier, should have a tier one capital ratio of more than 20%. We recommend only asset management banks that do not do investment banking. What does tier one capital mean? It is the hardcore capital. The tier one capital ratio represents equity against risk positions. The big banks, UBS and Credit Suisse, had a tier 1 capital ratio of only 3% during the financial crisis. Currently, the tier 1 capital ratio of the big banks is around 13 to 40%. For example, you can compare the tier 1 capital ratio of a private bank of your choice with the tier 1 capital ratio of another bank. Let me give you an example. The German Bundesbank has imposed a core capital ratio of at least 4.5%. 4.5%. The hardcore capital is compared with the risk bearing positions. We do not recommend banks that have leveraged balance sheets. We do not recommend asset management banks that offer investment banking under the same legal entity. In the US, 166 banks declared bankruptcy in 2008 and 2009. 166 banks bankrupt. Such numbers are unsinkable in Switzerland. Believe me, it was not easy to get the numbers. Several banks deliberately make it difficult to access the balance sheets. For example, I had to hear, we don't give out annual reports only to clients, only to customers of the banks. Thanks to good relationships and painstaking research work, we were able to compile the figures after all. Swiss banks are secretive. Some banks guard their balance sheet like a state secret. The year of foundation is the third security criterion. For example, a bank that has existed for over 100 years is a guarantee for continuity. You can count on this bank to serve your children and your children's children. These traditional banks are mainly family owned. The number of subsidiaries of a bank abroad is the fourth safety factor. Avoid banks having a physical presence outside Switzerland. This can backfire. If risky investment banking is separated from the asset management bank, this means more security. On the other hand, if investment banking and asset management exist under the same roof, under the same company, this is a risk factor. So, hands off, risky investment banking activities can, vary, can be very dangerous. The example of Credit Suisse shows how dangerous investment banking can be. The number of people employed can tell you a lot about the business. So, we have created and listed a ratio that compares assets under management with the number of employees. This metric is called assets under management versus employees. If the assets per employee are too large, this can be an indication of careless customer care in private banking. 100 to a maximum of 200 million assets under management per employee is okay. If assets per banker are larger, watch out. Find out if there are investment banking activities under the same legal entity. Leverage ratios are ratios that define leverage. Wealth management banks, which we recommend, do not have leveraged balance sheets because they conduct a low risk private banking business. No risky loans are made. The liquidity coverage ratio compares liquid assets to current liabilities. The question is, can the bank cover all liabilities that arise in the next 30 days with the available liquid assets? Risk-weighted assets meaning risk-weighted assets are assets exposed to risks. This ratio was introduced with the Basel 1 and Basel 2 regulations. This metric builds on the risk content of a bank's assets. For example, a letter of credit is weighted much more heavily and, much, and must be covered by more equity. We do not recommend banks that engage in the trade finance business. Financing international trade in goods is a risky business. Our banks do not give risky loans, do not issue bank guarantees and do not do letter of credits. That is why we recommend only asset management banks and not commercial banks to finance international trade in goods. Net profits or net, or net revenues, the net profit per employee ratio is interesting. Net income per employee should not exceed the annual salary of a middle management banker. If the net income per employee exceeds 500,000 Swiss francs, this is an indication of investment banking. So, hands off. Return on equity is the net income divided by the shareholders' equity. The return on equity should not exceed 20%. Otherwise, we suspect 
risky investment banking activities or other speculative profits. What is the cost to net income ratio? This is abbreviated to CIR. The cost to net income ratio is an indicator of the bank's efficiency. Costs divided by income produce a measure that shows how economically the bank is operating. The lower the value, the more efficient the bank. This ratio indicates how many euro cents are needed to earn one euro. However, this observation is only meaningful to uh, incomparable markets. If you compare banks that operate in different in, uh, interest rate environments, the ratio becomes insignificant. Therefore, you should never compare Swiss banks with banks in Turkey, for example. What are structural products and how do they work? What are structural products and how do they work? Structural products are financial instruments linked to an underlying asset like stocks, bonds, indices or other financial products based on a basket of stocks or bonds, currencies, commodities, derivatives, etc. Typically, the calculation of the net asset value is sophisticated and non-transparent. For all 102 private banks, we examined whether they issue structural products or not. Banks that issue structured products are involved in derivatives trading, hands off derivatives. These banks that issue their own financial products tend to book their risky products in their customers as well. With their customers, the risk of being advised by a product pusher is very high. This is why we recommend external asset managers who are truly independent. Product pushers are rewarded by banks for distributing their own financial products with big bonus payments and kickbacks. Banks that do not create structured products are much safer. That is why we are very cautious about banks that make money on structured products, also known as Struckis in Swiss German banking slang. Struckis. The big families, family offices that manage the huge fortunes of the super rich work mainly with independent asset managers. You should do the same. Why? Because they produce better results. You too are better served with an independent asset manager than leaving the asset manager to the bank. Best Swiss banks for non-residents. Not all 102 private banks accept clients who live outside Switzerland. We have clearly marked banks that accept foreigners. A very important security factor is the presence abroad. We distinguish between banks that are only present in Switzerland and those that are also present abroad. This means that we prefer banks that, are, that have no physical presence abroad. Banks that are present abroad are more easily to put under pressure by foreign authorities. That is why we prefer banks that are not present abroad but only in Switzerland. UBS is a prime example. For the first time in the history of Swiss banks, UBS handed over 4,450 accounts of, UBS client, of US clients to the American tax authorities, to the Internal Revenue Service in 2010. UBS did not want to lose its banking license in the USA. That's why UBS had allowed itself to be blackmailed by the US Department of Justice and delivered 4,550 clients to the knife. Banks without a physical presence abroad are safer because they have nothing to lose abroad. Which is the safest bank in the world? Which Swiss bank has a state guarantee? We show you all cantonal banks with a state guarantee. As an example, I will give you the safest bank in the world, namely the Zürcher Cantonal Bank or Zürich Cantonal Bank, better known under the abbreviation ZKB. Your money is 100% safe there. Even liquid money is guaranteed by the Canton of Zurich. ZKB is one of the few AAA banks. What is the best private bank in Switzerland? There is no best bank in Switzerland, but there is the best Swiss bank for you. Together, together we will find the best bank in Switzerland for you. Here is the best part. We will make sure that you will receive honest advisors that will increase your money step by step. Honest advisors. In wealth management, honesty is super important. Nevertheless, here exclusively in the world, free of charge, you will receive a tool that will allow you to make a first judgment about the safety of a particular bank. Tailor-made advice is fundamental to avoid the worst mistakes in terms of investment. Don't work with the first advisor that you encounter. Get references or ask me. A wrong advisor, such as a product pusher, can ruin your financial future in an instant like that. 
insider information just like this is not found in universities, not in libraries and not in bibliotheques and not in the internet. If you like my insider information, subscribe to my YouTube channel now and click the bell now. If you click the bell, you will never miss a new video. Take your money away from your country before your country takes it away from you. Protect your asset with Swiss Bank, securing your financial future. I open your Swiss Bank account within 10 days. If you have a very confidential question that you would like to discuss with me only, email me or book a free phone call consultation. Pick up your cell phone now and dial 0041442124404. It's never too early to have an account in Switzerland, but often too late. Be rich and stay rich. I wish you a beautiful day.